What's up everyone, Kazadi here. I've got more sniping gameplay for you guys. And in the first game, I feel like I did a really good job at explaining my thought process and my reasonings for certain plays and repositionings all while playing live. So with that being said, enjoy the video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Tarkov content. Nice. I think there was one more. Oh shit, his body fell. <laughs> all right guys, so we're on customs. So I thought, why not go in with a sniper, you know? Of course, I got my machine pistol as backup. Make sure it's in full auto. It's still pretty dark, it's 5 a.m. right now. But yeah, the sun is coming up. Let me see if I can make this jump. No. There we go. Just need a sprint. <laughs> Sounds like Sniper Scav is shooting at someone. So I'm guessing they're coming over this way. But yeah, while it's still dark, I just kind of want to play a bit safe. I don't want to move around too much. It's still really quiet. I, I feel like people are playing like me right now. They feel the same way. It's just too dark to like push anything. Could potentially be people in a stronghold already. And if I was just to cross, I feel like that would just be a really easy kill for them. Yeah, I see movement. Stronghold right now. Pretty sure those were players. Like 90% sure. I'm just curious what these guys in the stronghold are doing. They're running towards me. take out our pistol all right they look pretty geared so if i run into one of them or if one of them pushes me i need to aim for legs with this one with this pistol or for the face if they get too close because i've pretty much got flesh damage ammo i'm not sure where these guys went and i'm kind of in a bad spot right now so because of that i'm gonna jump over this wall actually and try to get up in the window I see him. I see one. Pretty sure we dropped one. They ran back into the stronghold. I'm gonna move actually. I doubt he's gonna peek uh, again because he knows it's not safe there, so I should probably reposition. And there's also people coming from that way. We got two more players. Which hopefully that lures out the guy from the stronghold. Okay, let's go again. Nice. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to push the fort. And the guy's right there. Three PMCs, guys. Fuck, dude. 
I did end up dying in the end, but like I said in the beginning, I feel like I did a really good job of explaining what was going through my head and why I was making certain decisions. So hopefully you guys can still learn a thing or two, because you learn more from your losses than from your victories. At the beginning of the raid, I heard gunshots over my hole in the wall. And as I got closer, I heard someone trying to jump on top of the garage next to the hole in the wall. Which confirmed 100% that there is players over in the area. Pretty sure someone's trying to get on the roof. Guessing maybe he couldn't do it. Well, that was his friend for sure. GG's flexus. Oh yeah, I'll take these nades. I'll take these ones. Now guys, I went into this bush to sort out my inventory when I happened to hear some more enemy footsteps. Since I heard two sets of footsteps, I tried to flush out his teammate by throwing some grenades. I cleared the whole area including all the bushes so what I'm thinking right now is that he's probably trying to find a good spot to look over his dead friend's body so I can't loot him so to counter this after I clear all the close angles I decide to quickly loot his friend and then go back into the bush to sort all my loot when all of a sudden someone shows up
he's finally gonna show up. Well, with my backpack full and my hands dirty, I figured it was time to go to the extraction. And with that being said, that's the end of this video, guys. If you've made it till the end, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more Tarkov content. And it's been Kizari, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. All right, GG's. That was a bit of a like a weird raid, I guess. Four kills, though. All headshots.